Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is some old footage from about two months ago that I've just found on my memory card. It's sort of a behind the scenes of Keegan and I doing the podcast. Um, so I thought instead of binning it, you might like to see it. So let's go. We're in Joel's car. We're in my mum's car. Broom, um, broom. And I've got, I've actually got, I've got more room in your car than I do in mine. Do you think? Yeah, but I think yours is lower down. Okay, yeah. I think yours feels a bit higher up. Yeah. Well, the weird thing is, you put our cars next to each other, and they look very similar size. Joel's actually looks bigger. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I mean, that's... I, I hope you, someone didn't just walk in on that bit. Joel's <laughs> looks bigger. Do I go that way? No, M606. Joel's does look bigger. It's weird, isn't it? Giant. Sorry, but there's no innuendos on this channel. This channel is squeaky clean. Is innuendo dirt? Um, it's not innuendo either, it's double entendre. Double entendre. Anyway, it is nice to, we're actually, we've done a shop and the boot has opened, the boot's so big, I put the, the stuff in the boot, uh, we're going to pick the kids up from school, they're going to fit in the back, spacious, you've got plenty of room, you don't look like a giant anymore, squished into my tiny mini, it's just amazing. Yeah, even though I said to Joel, why don't we go in your car, and he said, do you want to drive? <laughs> I was like, no. Yeah, but I just, I, the thing is... You're I, so giving. Yeah, it, I, it sounds really arrogant to go, oh, I'm so kind, but it's only because I, I'm excited by the new car and I want to drive, but I also want you to be able to enjoy it and drive it as well. I so see. it was from a kind place, I was like, would you like to drive? But I guess I forget you're not as excited as I am. Well, I mean, it's just, it's your car, so... Yeah. Drive it. <laughs> and uh, I suppose you're... Uh, you're fed up of driving at this juncture. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this is a new thing for Joe moving to the north. Like, he's in his car a lot more than he was when he was in London, because yeah. he had public transport, didn't you? But yeah. Th thanks to the Tory government, we don't have a lot of public transport in the north, because they scaled it all back. Yeah. So, if you don't drive, you either need to cycle, which I am going to get take my bike in for a service yeah. tomorrow. That's a good idea. Um, so I can get back on my bike. And then I find myself sat in the car. You hate being sat in the car for hours. Yeah, like I have old lady hips from playing rugby, so it's yeah. I'm tall, so it's not great for my back, and etc, etc. Yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. Well, it's quite nice to, this is the first school run in my new car, and as I said, the, the purpose was for this new life that I'm living with you, uh, getting a bigger car, otherwise I might have stuck with the Mini for a bit, so it's quite nice to put it to use. Yeah. And also Fletcher made a joke about my Mini the other day, about it being like the lamest car on the road. We were playing a game about what's the worst car brand, and he started giggling and put Mini, and so now I think he likes this car. When he saw it, he was like, yeah, yeah, I like it. And I was like, oh, he approves. That's yeah. good. Well, they're in, they're in, they're at that age now where they app appreciate or they feel that having branded stuff will get them some kudos, don't they? Yeah, so, it does. You know, a Nike jumper or nicer car, German, <laughs> uh, a German car. What about a British car, Mini? I think Minis are cool, but I can understand why some people don't like that they're a bit gimmicky and as a minis kid, are, probably... Minis always retain their value though. They do, because they are such a iconic brand. So, so do Golfs. Do they? Yeah. Oh, nice. Golfs retain the, their value as well. Hey everyone, it's Thursday. It's nearly the end of the day actually. It's half four and um, it's been a busy day. Keegan is just off to rugby, but he went and got, we took his bike to Halfords this morning to get sort of seen to and fixed. He had a chain changed and just made safe really, because he's gonna start cycling to rugby. I've just told him he has to wear a helmet. I've told him off. So he should have his helmet on. Good boy. I'm not a dog, Joe. You are. No, you're a Bratley Bulldog. Uh. Um, yeah, he wasn't going to wear his helmet, guys. Yes, so. he was. Don't shame huh? me on YouTube. You weren't going to wear your helmet. You were going to wear his hat, his Batley Bulldog's hat. And he was like, but how can I wear my hat if I'm wearing a helmet? I was like, you're not supposed to. Safety first. I want you in one piece. All it takes is one stupid driver to knock you off your bike. It's Most not even your fault. Most of the bike route isn't even on public roads. Okay. It's on bike paths. That's good because you might hit a pothole and fall off your bike and crack your head on the floor. That's cheery. Keegan always says that I always come up with the most ridiculous scenarios in my head. Of, of death. Of death and destruction. Mm. It's kept me safe so far. Here he goes. 
my Lance Armstrong. Actually, didn't he do something illegal? <laughs> Bye! Anyway, it feels so weird, guys, because normally when Keegan goes to rugby, I'm used to it being dark, because obviously I, he started playing rugby earlier this year in winter, and uh, it's now spring, and this weekend the clocks went forward, so it's now lighter at night, and I hate light evenings, guys, unless I'm like at a barbecue or having a pub dinner in the pub garden and things like that. I don't like light evenings because right now, for example, I've done most of my work for the day. The day is kind of winding to a close and I'm having a night in. So I'm like, well, I want it to be dark. Like the fact it's light outside makes me think I can't fully relax yet. Cause I sort of tend to go with the seasons when it gets dark. For example, in winter, when it gets dark at 3 p.m., I stop working at 3 p.m. lots of time. Dogs, shush, stop shouting. I stop working with the light. So now I'm like, do I need, do I need to keep working? Anyway, I am having a phone call with my mum this evening. I might edit a video, so I might do some work. I might go for a walk if the rain holds out, or I might go for a run on my treadmill. <laughs> the options are endless. I need to learn to just sit and relax and sit and watch TV, but I don't really do that. I've also got to cook dinner for us tonight, uh, which I believe is some sort of fishy dish. Fishy dish. Lemon baked bassa. Very nice. I'd never eaten bassa before moving up north and then, you know, now I eat bassa all the time. Hey everyone, it's Friday and it's 10 a.m. and it's quite exciting because today we're just heading off to the podcast studio to do our second batch of recording for Happy Healthy Homo, which is very exciting. It feels very different areas I don't to... Need, I don't need my keys, do I? No, I've got... Yeah, I've got the house keys as well. Yeah. Um, I was saying it feels different this time because Last time when we were heading to the studio to record four episodes, we, it hadn't launched, we hadn't got the logo, we didn't know anything about it really, other than what we kind of wanted to do. Whereas now... It's um, going well. It's going well. Yep. And now it feels, I feel the pressure though, because I'm like, people are loving it and wanting, they're wanting us to do well, which is up. nice. But it's like, yeah, don't mess it up. The pressure. <sighs> We've got time for a coffee. Please, yeah, we have to. Is there one on the way? Duncan. Oh yeah, Duncan, let's do that. Can you hold that and you can do a bit of chitty chatty if you like. You chitty. chitty, hello there. Me and Joe, not particularly organized, have just been finalizing what we're gonna talk about over these next four podcasts. Because we've had such great feedback with comments, emails, of topics that people want to talk about, we've got a lot on there. Now a lot of them are they're quite big topics, yeah. and a lot of them are quite heavy, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, very heavy. And we'd, we'd like finalised three of these topics, and, and I was like, these are all a bit neggy. Uh, well, I think naturally the podcast is going to be a bit like that, because it's addressing issues that are relating to the gay community. However, Keegan is right. Keegan was like, I think we need a light-hearted episode. So we've got one very frivolous episode. Yeah. Uh, all about things we love about being gay. But also, I think, you know, when we're talking about these these things that are quite heavy and quite neggy, it's important to bring a bit of yeah. humour to them. And knowing um, us, it sounds really arrogant, but knowing us, we will bring some banter to it. And oh, we we're so funny, we're aren't we? So we're funny. We're, hil we're hilarious. We're hilarious. Um, but yeah, we are so last minute, as if we planned that just now, an hour ago. Um, we're artists. We're artists. You can't rush the artistic process. Exactly, don't rush my process. <laughs> but at the same time, we have other... Uh, yeah, your but... camera angles, babe, what is going oh, on? Sorry. Because I'm trying to rest it on what? my... I'm trying to rest it You're on... the worst vlogger. I'm trying to rest it on my knees. <laughs> This is the ceiling of the car, guys, in case you wanted to know what well, it is. There you go. We've both got full-time jobs, so, I mean, one day, maybe, if this became a, a job for us where we earned some money from it, it would be amazing. We could set oh, aside, nice, like, yeah. days of work where we're like, right, today is all dedicated to the podcast, but at the moment, we're just grabbing any free time we have. Yeah, like, yes, the day or Wednesday, I sat, replied to about 70 emails yeah, um, from Happy Healthy Homo, but... And I'd let them build up, so I won't be doing that. And I love that they all replied going, Hi Joel, thanks for the reply. Because on the because you've set up the account, it says... Oh, does it say Joel Ward? Uh, so we need to change that to Keegan and Joel. Keegan and Joel, yeah. Uh, it's because it tells you to put in first name, last name. And so maybe we'll just put Keegan, Keegan Joel. And Joel. And Joel. Oh, Joel and Keegan. Oh, yeah. Keegan and Joel is better. Yeah, you would say that, wouldn't you? Yeah. 
but we say that we don't plan we've already planned how when it when the season's going to finish what yeah. the last episode's going to be yeah um what we're gonna well yeah we've been very organized we had a list of ideas and you wrote a list of ideas from the emails as well yeah so, stuff that people wanted to talk so we about. weren't just sat there going what should we do now like we had resources to look back on but yeah, we just we, didn't have the full-on structure we're, it's good now because we're now actually talking about things that people have proffered yeah and want to talk and they're about. a bit more specific because yeah. the first four episodes were like we'll do one about relationships one about body image one about this one about that whereas now they're a bit more niche aren't they yeah so we can zoom in a bit yeah arrived oh yeah Yes, we couldn't get in. The gates were open last time, but not this time. Right, so we've arrived. We're in reception. Uh, Keegan's just heading to the loo and also grabbing us a load of tissue because we've both been ill this week and we still sound a little bit bunged up. <laughs> but anyway, it's time to go up. Right, guys, recording done. We are now just getting back in the car. We've actually bought a picnic, so I thought we'd just have that. Keegan's made us lunch and I packed us some drinks and a protein cookie for dessert. Thank you. Got a salad. Chicken salad. Chicken salad. Lovely. My tummy's hurt. Yeah, same. I think I've been holding in too many farts. God. <laughs> well, that went well. It did, didn't it? I felt that those four were even stronger than the first four. Yeah. What did you think? Yeah, they were very good episodes. Mm -hmm. We'll see what people think, won't we? Yeah, the proof will be in the pudding. See how you guys feel about it. I'll right, we'll see you guys later. And that is it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, I don't know whether I should have just binned it, but I was like, you know what? Some people that watch my channel might be interested, so I thought I'd keep it. I hope you guys are doing really well. Don't forget, I do channel memberships on this channel, so if you'd like to become a VIP member and get extra bonus members-only content, then you can do that. And uh, if not, I'll just see you next time. Bye.